Now stay tuned for the Burl Ives program produced and transcribed in Hollywood for your listening pleasure. Burl's guest tonight, Trinidad's king of the Calypso, Sir Lancelot. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. My master's gone away. Mm-hmm. He's coming up the road again. Your wayfaring stranger, Philco's friendly troubadour, Burl Ives. She's gone again, skip to Malou, she's gone again, skip to Malou, she's gone again, skip to Malou, skip to Malou, my darling. Hairs in the buttermilk, two by two, hairs in the buttermilk, two by two, hairs in the buttermilk, two by two, skip to Malou, my darling. Hope she's gone again, skip to Malou, she's gone again, skip to Malou, she's gone again, skip to Malou, skip to Malou, my darling. If you can't get a red bird, a blue bird to do, if you can't get a red bird, a blue bird to do, if you can't get a red bird, a blue bird to do, skip to Malou, my darling. Hope she's gone again, skip to Malou, she's gone again, skip to Malou, she's gone again, skip to Malou, skip. Hello, friend. I'm wearing my Sunday go to meeting suit. <clears throat> and the front parlor's unlocked. I've got a fresh coat of blacken on the old pot bellied stove. And I've dusted off the old moose head. And I'm hotting up the coffee. And a few of my friends are showing up because we're entertaining royalty. Sir Lancelot of Trinidad and Knight of the Order of the Calypso. Now, before Sir Lancelot gets here, I better explain that I've been boning up on this Calypso so I'll know how to act when his lordship arrives. You see, Calypso is a little hard to understand because it has a kind of a private lingo. It goes something like this. Uh, Auf die fire down, auf die fire down day, auf die fire, auf die fire down day. Now that means put out the fire. <laughs> Uh, I found that out. Now, Sir Lancelot might come in singing a French or a Spanish or a Chinese song, but on his engraved announcement of his arrival, he told me that he was going to sing a real, authentic Calypso song. Now, here he comes now. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Well, Lance, Lance, you you crossed me up. It serves me right for pretending that I'm a Calypso expert. <laughs> uh, I fooled you that time, I Yes, know? you did. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ives, you must never pretend. It will always get you in the end. Never, never tell a lie. It will come back and smack you between the eyes. Well, I, guess, <laughs> I guess that's right. <laughs> Well, Lance, while I go out in a corner and write that down a hundred times using the Palmer method, you better get your royal entourage together and give us a real Calypso song. Ha! Neighbor, neighbor, leave me door. I don't want your hair no more. I don't like your company. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Ah, let me tell you a little story About the woman next door to me She's the worst thing I ever see All she likes is strife and misery <laughs> The other morning, about half past four She come a-knocking at me door she must be trying to ruin me Cause she know I don't get up that early <laughs> She said, Sir Lancelot, I'm all alone Take me to your island home But she forgot to inform me That she has a little husband six foot three <laughs> Ah, neighbor, neighbor, leave me door. I don't want your hair no more. I don't like your company. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Uh, 
Mr. Lancelot, that was fine. In fact, I liked it so much that I tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to compose a Calypso Philco commercial. Oh, no. Permit me, Bill. Ah, Lanza, I couldn't <laughs> do that. After all, you're my guest. What would the people across the street say? But I would be delighted. Permit me as a token of my appreciation of your hospitality. This one little thing. Ah, uh, okay, Sir Lancelot, you twisted my arm. <laughs> For the very best buy in radio, get the 1201 combination Philco, one of the finest radios they have today. Just slide a record in the slot and let it play. It is a fact that all over the land, Philco radios are in demand. So listen to Sir Lancelot King of Calypso, get yourself a Philco radio. <laughs> Don't go away. Don't go away, Sir Lancelot. I want to give this uh, Calypso a whirl myself a little later on, and I'll need your help, so okay, you stick well. around. <laughs> right now, friends, I'm going to sing a little song of the Florida Everglades that's sometimes called Baby, Did You Hear? It'll surprise you. <laughs> Baby, did you hear? Your sweetie's going to leave you, yeah. Yes, on the next payday Baby, did you hear? Your sweetie's gonna ride the Cherokee Down the St. John's River And nary a cent will I be the giver Baby, did you hear? All of your furniture's gonna leave you, yes, yes, on the next payday. <laughs> Baby, did you hear? Your sweetie's gonna ride the Cherokee down the St. John's River. And every ascent will I be the giver. You know, there's a kind of a song kind of a Yankee Calypso. The boys who sailed the clipper ships down to the Caribbean and loaded cargo of West Indian spices and riches sang their own songs. This may have been one of them. In Amsterdam there lived a maid, mark you well what I say. In Amsterdam there lived a maid, she was mistress of her trade. I'll go no more a-roving with you, fair maid. A-roving, a-roving, since roving's been my rue, I in I'll go no more a-roving with you, fair maid. Her eyes were blue, her cheeks were brown, mark you well what I say. Her eyes were blue, her cheeks were brown, her hair in ringlets hanging down. I'll go no more a-roving with you, fair maid. A-roving, a-roving, since roving's been my rue, I in I'll go no more a-roving with you, fair maid. I took that maid out for a walk, mark you well what I say. I took that maid out for a walk, we had such a lovely talk. I'll go no more a-roving with you, fair maid. I put my hand upon her knee, mark you well what I say. I put my hand upon her knee, said she to me, you're getting too free. I'll go no more a-roving with you, fair maid. A-roving, a-roving. Since roving's been my rue, I in I'll go No more a roving with you, fair maid I took her out and spent my pay Mark you well what I say I took her out and spent my pay And then that maiden just faded away I'll go no more a roving with you, fair maid A roving, a roving Since roving's been my rue, I in I'll go No more a roving with you uh, Sir Lancelot, I've heard that many, many years ago there was a young lady named Calypso, so fascinating that she kept the famous wayfaring man of the time at her side for seven years. Don't recall his name, but he was famous. Yes, that's right, Burl, and she was a very ugly woman. 
You don't say. I do say. <laughs> well, tell us about it. If you want to be happy and live a king's life, never make a pretty woman your wife. If you want to be happy and live a king's life, never make a pretty woman your wife. All you have to do is just what I say, then you will be happy, merry and gay. Therefore, from a logical point of view, always marry a woman uglier than you. I think I see what you mean. Uh -huh. A pretty woman makes her husband look small and very often do cause his downfall. Soon as she marries there and then she starts to do the things that will ache his heart. And when you think she's belonging to you, she's calling somebody else to do. Therefore, from a logical point of view, always marry a woman as clear than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, Bill. Now let's try it together. Shoot. An ugly woman gives you your meals on time. Tries to make you comfortable in mind. At nights when you lie up on your cozy bed. She will coach, caress you, and scratch your head. And not a minute in the night will she leave you alone. Seems she want to melt the fat from your bone. Therefore, from a logical point of view, I'll I'll marry marry woman I'll I'll you. Uh, now that we now that we've sung about an ugly woman, I want to introduce you to a very pretty man, the Philco man. Friends, I want to tell you that I've had a very enjoyable time, and I hope you have, too. Sir Lancelot, it was an honor having you with us, and I sure hate to see you go, boy. Oh, Mr. Eyes, mighty ballad singer, you're a very polite host, but I cannot linger. I must myself most quickly be stir. I'm leaving by Pan American Clipper. Sir Lancelot, was a pleasure to have you here. I must admit you have brought us good cheer. You certainly are one of the finest of men. I hope you will come back and see us again. <laughs> Ever traveling to and fro, and there's no toil. So long, Burl, and friends, listen next week at this time for Burl Eyes, Philco's friendly troubadour, whose weekly visit is produced and transcribed in Hollywood for your listening pleasure. Next week, Burl plays host to more old friends. And remember, Come into our store and let us demonstrate the new Philco radios and radio phonograph. I'm just a boy. I'm just a boy.